Welcome to 2023's Top 10 Comic Book Covers Fans. This is week number 12, sponsored by Mutant Beaver Comics. Find out how you can save 10% off of your variant covers. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Are you ready, true believers? Let's get started. Let's find out who won week number 11. And week number 11 wound up going to Hellcat. Issue 1, the 1 in 25. Ryan Stegman variant an absolutely gorgeous cover congratulations it moves on to the next round now guys let's officially kick off week number 12 coming in at number 10 and this goes to Dead Romans issue 1 the Ivan Towel variant as it pays homage to a Nintendo Power issue looks so awesome man Brings back the days when I played Super Nintendo or Nintendo and you got those monthly issues of Nintendo Power. So awesome, so bloody. I loved it. Looks fantastic. So if you guys want to vote, make sure you vote in the comment section below on what your favorite comic book cover is is of the week and no more than one vote per person and if you don't like any of the comic book covers i provide here for you today you can always write in your own it could start to trend and overtake the other top 10 let's get going here guys let's continue with number nine and number nine goes to storm in the brotherhood of mutants issue two the lobe anatomy variant i put this on the list because it's just something different we have not seen this before if you flip this cover around i love how simplistic the background is i love the trade dress you gotta love storm's mohawk here she's got lightning flowing through her fingertips and yeah you get to see that anatomy those bones it's like you had x-ray glasses or something man really cool really different if you want to see it win you know what you got to do coming in at number eight we have vanish issue five cover c done by scotty young you know, Scotty Young covers are so badass, and this is such a cool cover as you get to see the two characters on the ledges of building just comparing how cool they are. You know, it was just, it, I, I read it and it made me laugh, and you gotta appreciate those covers. So if you wanna see it win, yes, guys, you gotta vote in the comments section below. Next, we have. Coming in at number seven, we have Deceased War of Undead Gods. This is issue seven. Cover E Incentive, one in 50, Sun Kamanki cardstock variant. This is a gorgeous cover as you have, is it Ceranic? Is that how you say her name? Sinestro's daughter um, on some random rock <laughs> and she's just sitting there posing for you guys uh you don't get to see too many covers of her so i thought she was drawn really well here and i love seeing the planet in the background and those other random floating rocks flying around i thought it was cool man it definitely caught my eye coming in at number six, we have another amazing David Nakayama variant. We have David, uh, the amazing Spider-Man, issue 22, David Nakayama variant A. Uh, there's a couple of these this week, very similar, but I kind of like the black Spider-Man uh, in the black background in that negative space. And the only thing that separates them is that white outline and the webbing. Looks great. Love the dynamic pose of the character as well. You can never go wrong with, with the black suited Spider-Man man he's just he's so awesome man coming in at number five we have star wars darth vader issue 32 this is the the raz variant as we have a very intimidating darth vader making his presence known let me tell you this reminds me of something like from uh that movie what's it called rogue one where you see darth vader coming through that corridor uh, and he just like kicking ass and taking names. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Or even the original Star Wars when you saw Darth Vader for the first time. And if you're a little kid and you saw that and you're just like, oh my God, my mind's just been blown. Who is this evil presence that's going to kill everybody? <laughs> Coming in at number four, we have Carnage issue 11. We have the Mastrazzo variant. Can't go wrong with Carnage on a cover, right? I mean, just look at the tendrils just all over the place like all around him look at those sharp teeth oh my god he would eat your brains in five seconds those over exaggerated eyes such a creepy cover top three now we have 
Uh, Catwoman issue 53, cover B, Sergio Acuna cardstock variant. I love this cover from the very first time I saw it. Here we just get to see uh, Selena Kyle examining all the wounds on her back after maybe a battle that she's just done. And she has been through hell and back and not only do you get to see that, but I love to see the muscular definition on the character and how strong she is, but you can see the beating that she takes, and sometimes you don't always see that actually in the comic book, so I like the story that this um, actual cover presents to itself, to its readers here, so really nice. Coming in at number two, I love this one for some reason. I don't know, it may not be the best or sexiest cover, but I just thought this one was so awesome. Spider-Man The Lost Hunt, issue 5, Ryan Brown main cover. Here we get to see Spider-Man in the spider armor once again. He's on the uh, lamp post. He's got two huge machetes in his hands. He's got those glowing blue eyes and it looks like maybe he's going to take down Craven Hunter or, like, or Gregor or whoever's in this comic book. My gosh and I love how it's raining. It's dark. It's just, it's an amazing cover from, from my opinion. Right? So maybe it's your guys too so if you want to see it win make sure you vote but before we dive into our number one i just gotta give a quick shout out to mutant beaver comics mutant beaver comics is a global leader in exclusive variants with over 3,000 listings in their store they ship worldwide on a daily basis and offer top-notch customer service and wonderful packaging guys Pick up some slabs from there, toys, whatever it is, because if you use my promo code CORNER10, not only can you save 10% off of your first purchase, but every purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives. MutantBeaverComics.com Here we go. The cream of the crop this week in comic book covers, in my opinion, goes to Superman issue 2 cover E Nathan Zerdy cardstock variant. This is a very nice cover of this new enemy, frenemy, friend, foe, whatever you want to call it, of Superman called Marilyn Moonlight. <laughs> Rip off. <laughs> right? Instead of Moon Knight, it's Moonlight, or maybe is she like a, a cloak character? I, I don't know. Who knows? Nevertheless, the character looks awesome on this cover. I love the use of black and whites on here. I love how she has this little bit of blood on her as well. She's got this like white gun. Very nice looking character overall. Great use of art and color uh, or shades, I should say, if we're going to get artistic here. But uh, I love it and I can't wait to see what the character has to offer for the readers coming out this week. So there you guys have it. There are the top 10 comic book covers of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you love my content, I'll leave you a random video here to check out. I took the whole week off basically to enjoy it with my family on spring break. So click on whatever video is here for you to watch. And until next time, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but always, always read those comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.